and this one being unplugged, we have low voltage on this gray wire. And so I need my test light to go to battery positive. I really need another pin. Pocket screwdriver. Being a little bit creative. Okay, so you guys know I'm not damaging this connector. I'm actually, I put my screwdriver in the back side of it. Right, I wouldn't stuff that in the front side. So I just need battery voltage for my test light is all I need. And now what I can do, this gray wire we said is our signal for our wipers to turn on in a pull up design. That's our constant power. Uh, the constant yeah. power is the white, the white wire. Okay. I'm no longer using okay. that, just the gray wire. Watch the voltage level here. We'll put that on there so you can watch the voltage at the same time that I am energizing the circuit. So just so we're clear, I have 12 volts on the tip of my test light right now. Okay, I'm gonna be the switch. This is a pull up design circuit. I'm confident of that. Just based on what we were doing with the meter and touch on this. 13.6, okay, and notice my test light's not lit. I think in the last segment I mentioned the test light was was um, glowing. Uh, it must have been battery voltage was low maybe, potentially, but that test light is not lit at all. You see the wipers are working. All right, so pull up design, I can make the switch work. All right, so it's a momentary switch, right? But when you turn it on, I think it stays high. So you need that voltage to be there for that circuit to be functioning. That's an incandescent test light. And when uh, this is new, I didn't mention this to you guys yet, one of the things that I talk about is you can't do bypass testing with LED test lights. So let me show you the LED test light. We'll connect our LED to battery positive as well, and I'll do the same test with the LED light on that gray wire. And it is uh, again, the tip of the light connected to battery positive. Watch the voltage level, and then we'll see what it does. Wow, it's totally huh. different than last time I did this. Um, it actually did turn it on, and the last time I did this, my battery voltage was lower, and the voltage here would only go up to 1.3 volts whenever. So the light's sucking up too much of the, the voltage to. Well, it's yes, exactly. The, the light has too much resistance. I mean, you can actually see that. Um, I think what we'll do is, um, you know, the theory part that's going to follow this still holds true, but uh, the difference this time is my voltage supply is higher to my LED yeah. than last time. And the last time we did this, I believe it was 1.3 volts with the LED and 10 volts with the incandescent. And But still, you can see at 7 volts, we're not putting as much voltage to this. And, and that is a warning on the LED that you can't use an LED most of the time to do this test. You see the lights lighting too yeah. a little bit. All right, so the LED did work in this case. Pull up design circuit, doing a bypass test using the test lights, really what I showed you guys. I'm gonna show you one more and that's the washer circuit.